Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. So today is day four, and we're going to be working through spine mobility and spine stability. Okay, so we'll start the ball rolling with some, uh, some different stretches. Okay, we'll go through four different stretches, five breaths each. Then we'll go into a few mobility exercises. We'll do about 10 reps each. And then finally, we'll finish with some spine stability exercises. Okay, and we'll do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off um, for about three rounds with that final one there. Okay, so without further ado, we'll begin with, uh, with some stretches or some release work. So I'm gonna use a roller because I've got one, uh, but if you've got, I don't know, a Swiss ball, a big pillow, or any sort of object to extend over, it could even be on a chair. I'd rather not have you sat down, but it um, could even be over a chair or some sort of object you can just extend the thoracic spine over. That's gonna be the first one, okay? So on the roller, I'm gonna place it just beneath my shoulder blades or wherever I find some tight spots. Okay, from there, I'll shift along a little bit further this way so you can probably see me better. Okay, from there, just like yesterday, guys, we're going to clasp the, the hands in nice and close. Okay, clasp the elbows in nice and close. So we're not like this, we're not trying to stretch the pecs, we're trying to really sketch that thoracic, so elbows to ears. And from there, lower abs stay tight. And I'm extending over that roller. Okay, just find a real nice tight spot. And then once you've found it, I'm going to take five breaths through the nose. Lower abs tight. Every exhale, release it a little bit lower. And slowly make your way up. Okay, that's number one. Again, guys, if you're particularly tight through there, feel free to take maybe 10 breaths um, or also repeat for multiple rounds. Okay, stretching for more than one set can be really beneficial, guys. Um, so, yeah. Sometimes that's a good shout. Next one's gonna be our rotation. So I'll show you from the front to start with, and I'll show you from the side. Now we're using the same object maybe, or if you've not, you've got a pillow or something. You're simply gonna place your knee on the object, okay? So leg crosses across the body, knees placed on the object. Um, I find the more I straighten the leg, the more I feel it through my sort of upper back. The more I bend the leg, the more I feel it more into my mid back. So personally, probably for me, I'd, I'd prefer to work on that upper back uh, rotation more. From there, I'm gonna inhale, reach across. Exhale, reach my hand down towards the floor. Okay, keeping, it, keeping the hand slightly above the shoulder. Keeping the, the gaze to the sky and just trying to both press my shoulders into the floor, chest into the floor, whilst also rotating and extending. Okay, if this leg's kind of coming off the floor, it feels quite weightless on the object. Just keep the left hand, in my case, just gently pressed on the leg, okay? Once we're in position, we'll take five breaths through the nose. Every exhale, release. Try and sit a little bit. Slowly roll in from there, and now we'll swap sides. Just before you do, just bring the legs together. You might feel you need to pull the knees into the chest a little bit before you move on. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so that was my, getting confused now, that was my right leg going across. Now it's left leg across. So from the side, guys, roller comes about in line with the hip, leg comes across. Okay, again, the straighter it is, the more I feel it in my upper back. The more bent it is, the more I feel it from my mid to lower back. And from there, the arm comes through. We inhale, exhale, extend. Sorry, exhale, both extend. So drawing the shoulders and the chest to the floor and also rotating through that thoracic spine. Again, keeping the hand on the knee if we need to. And then we'll take five nice slow breaths. Inhale, 
roll back through. Okay, once again, guys, if that feels like quite a good one for you, then feel free to do multiple rounds, okay, of then that five, that five breaths. Um, some people also find to do that dynamically. We'll be doing a bit of dynamic rotation, but we find that doing that where you reach and next hill open is, uh, is quite nice as well. Um, so feel free to have a little play. Next up, we're going to go through lateral flexion of the spine. Okay, so we've gone through extension and rotation. Now we'll go through lateral flexion. We're going to pop up into a lunge position. Okay, and from here, we're going to create a nice posterior pelvic tilt. So we're trying to basically tilt the pelvis under, like so, under. Okay, so that the glutes are nice and tight. We get that nice stretch through the front of the hip. Okay, from here, once we're in that position, we're simply going to support our right hand on the right leg if, it's, if we're on that side. And then add that nice side bend. We should be getting a nice stretch all the way through the obliques, maybe a little bit up to the lats, also through the psoas as well. Okay, I think it was Stuart McGill who mentioned that this is one of the only ways to actually stretch the psoas, adding that hip extension with that rotation. The psoas attaches right up here, so yeah, I do, I do feel somewhat of a stretch there. How to really know, isn't it? There's a lot of muscles, but it does feel rather good. Through the nose, three more breaths. Every exhale, bending a little bit further. And inhale, slowly release. Okay, with that one, guys, if you feel rather unstable, then uh, of course, feel free to just, um, to just use your hand and support yourself with an object. Okay, once again, posterior pelvic tilt, okay. Stay your pelvic tilt, sitting nice and tall, and then we reach across. Try and keep a straight line from head to knee. Every exhale, reaching further. guys okay so we've got one more and they're gonna be a nice slow up dog down dog okay so we're just gonna do three reps and we'll take five breaths in each position okay so we'll get into our plank position from here up dog we can let the knees drop roll the shoulders back gaze to the sky open the mouth we'll take five breaths through the nose if you open and close the mouth you get much more stretch from your jaw and your neck and you close it and roll the head through roll the chest through hips to the sky drawing the heels towards the floor and we'll take five breaths through here I'd suggest guys looking your head through at your knees the only thing is if I do that the mic gets really loud so uh yeah i'll stop talking first really drawing them hips to the sky bend your knees if you need to guys if you've got real tight hamstrings and that'll allow you to get them hips really to the sky back through into my up dog. Under the up dog. I don't think it's my up dog. <laughs> I guess it's me doing it. Five breaths rolling through into the down dog again. Don't forget here, guys, elbow pits the sky. That's it.
time. there are stretches so from there we'll go into our uh, mobility work we're going to begin with what's called neck nods so we're just going through flexion extension of the neck we're going to get ourselves onto all fours okay from here we're just simply going to flex and extend the neck without moving any other part of the spine okay and we'll do 10 reps i'll try not to talk probably will end up talking but if i talk with my next down it'll be really loud again okay just the neck in motion inhale on the flexion and then exhale on the extension again. from there we'll get into our cat cow many of you, you i'm sure will know this one well okay so from here inhale flex the spine thinking about pushing the floor away with the knees and the hands to really create that space and then exhale pull the floor together pull into extension take a breath at the top Inhale, transition. Take a breath of water. Spraying the vertebrae apart. Okay, just you might want to pause the video here and I can show you this little, uh, well, once I've shown you it, I suppose, show you this little segmentation drill. So if you do fancy this one, uh, it's quite a cool way of improving control and the um, coordination of your spine. So from here, you can try and do one vertebrae at a time. So starting from the sacrum, working through into the lumbar, then working into the thoracic until eventually we come to the neck. Okay, try and repeat that back into flexion. Okay, so mine's not perfect, but you get the idea of trying to move one vertebrae at a time. Okay, and that can be a real cool little way of playing with them. Um, uh, improving our coordination of the spine. Some of the calisthenics drills like press to hammer stand I think is going to be quite a useful awareness to have. Okay. Uh, now we're going into thoracic. So we kneel into this position here. Now the reason why we do this is just to block out a little bit of lumbar extension, okay, by putting our hips into flexion. Um, and some of you may need to be even more flexion, so you might have to do it um, in a different position. Like some people can do it on a roller with the feet against the wall and then you push the bum towards the wall so you get hips into more flexion but essentially by putting your hips into flexion it'll facilitate a little bit of lumbar extension so we can focus a bit more onto the thoracic okay so then we'll lean forwards a bit and again that'll just put us into more the neutral torso i'll just put in some more flexion from there we're just going to try and flex and extend through the thoracic some people like to add cervical flexion extension here as well me personally i like to keep it more neutral and just try and isolate that thoracic 
Same idea when we're flexing, we're trying to push the floor away. And we're extending, we're trying to pull the floor together. Inhale, transition, exhale the top. Inhale, transition, exhale the bottom. Really good one is for improving that thoracic coordination. I think many of us, and myself included, sometimes can get quite stooped over. Okay, we can end up excessively flexing that thoracic spine just from our sort of lifestyle factors like driving, sitting behind a desk, and the usual stuff, you know. So just bringing that awareness to the thoracic spine with a drill like this can be excellent, especially after you've done a bit of stretching for it as well, released a little bit of neural tension. Last one. If any of these feel really good guys, again, you can repeat them multiple times. And the last one we'll do for the mobility side of things is we'll go through our rotation. Now there's a few drills I use for rotation. Um, I'm gonna try this one today. I don't do this one very often, to be honest with you. Usually I'll do the one on my knees, hand on the head, and then I'll rotate. But I thought this today, I'll do this one. So we're gonna sit our hips all the way to the wall. Boom. Okay. From there, this arm's gonna come out here. We're gonna push the shoulder and the hand into the wall. Knee and the hip and the foot also into the wall. From there, we're just gonna take the hand to the hand. Inhale, and then exhale, open. Keeping the hip, hand, shoulder, knee, foot to the wall the whole time. I like to follow my gaze with the hand personally. We should be feeling a nice contraction through the thoracic spine. Sure we're keeping the knee, the foot, the hip, and the elbow, the hand, the shoulder to the wall. Two more, trying to reach back further towards that wall each time. It can be quite tempting just to try and open with the shoulder, especially if you've got very mobile uh, abduction extension with the shoulder, but try as best you can to really let the rotation come from the torso. Okay. So we're not so focused on just trying to get the hand back to the wall. It can be a nice outcome to work for, um, but just ensure that if you are doing that again, you're just focusing on that rotation from the torso. Okay, so we actually are getting thoracic rotation and not just shoulder extension. Okay, same position on the opposite side now. Ooh, what am I doing here? Hand in front. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, a lot tighter on this side for me. comes from the torso. Whew, shake it off. Okay, so that'll do for the stretching and mobility side of things. Should be feeling pretty loose and limber. And now, of course, in our day-to-day -day tasks, it's going to require a lot of lifting, a lot of stabilizing through the spine. Uh, again, Stuart McGill, I really like Stuart McGill. I've got a few of his books. He's a, I'm a bit of a hit, bit of a fanboy of, of old Stuart. Um, shouldn't be calling him old, should I? He won't like that. Um, but basically, um, what he says, which I find really cool, is, is proximal stiffness allows distal athleticism. So it's all well and good having the mobility, but locking down and creating stiffness will allow our limbs to be able to express lots of force. So if we're pushing an object, if we're pulling an object, you know, it's our shoulders, it's our arms that are doing the work, okay? They're the ones that are in motion. Same if we're, you know, squatting or, or hinging. It's our hips that are doing the work. The spine will stay locked down. You know, in most cases, we're gonna keep a relatively stiff and fixed spinal position, okay? So that's why I think it's important to then put in the stability stuff in there as well, guys, because the mobility side of things and the flexibility isn't necessarily what the spine is, is, is always doing. Okay, often we will come under load and that's when we need to be able to stiffen. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw you three exercises to work on 
developing and improving that stability of the spine. First one's gonna be an anti-extension exercise. You'll know it as like a plank variation, okay? I'll show you a few different variations. I'll show you one, just I'll show you the plank and go through some cues. Then I'll show you extended plank. And then finally, if you've got a Swiss ball, you can try um, Swiss ball plank. Uh, but there's loads of the variations, like ab rollout, hollow body, dragon flag if you're at that point. All anti-extension, they all serve a similar purpose, okay? Uh, second one I'll show you is a side plank. Um, again, really good for that lateral uh, stability. Um, and then finally, bird dog, okay, which is anti-rotation and extension. Okay, we'll use a tennis ball there to give us some feedback and act almost like, a, like our own coach to tell us if our spine staying stable or not. Okay, now we're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we'll go through three rounds, okay? So I'll use the timer on the, on the audio um, to, to do so. Okay, so we'll start in 10 seconds when it hits 23 minutes. The video should be 23 minutes. I was just talking a bit at the start of the video. So hopefully it's a bit shorter than that. Okay, plank position, 20 seconds. So let's have feet together if possible. Let's try and push the floor away. So we're spreading them shoulder blades. Then we're creating a nice posterior pelvic tilt. So you can see my bum's not up, the bum's tucked under. And all that tension should be through the abs. Abs and the hip flexors, okay? So the front of the body is engaging to, to prevent extension from occurring. Okay, that's 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest, now we're into our side plank. Okay, you can do this with the knees bent. All the legs straight, one foot in front of the other, or one on top of the other. Let's go. Okay, from there we're trying to drive up away from the floor. This is difficult, you can bend the knees or you can put one foot in front of the other. Ensuring we're straight line from head to toe, pushing the hand into the floor, pushing the elbow into the floor. Four, three, two, one. Swap sides. I'll show you from this angle now. So you can see it should be a straight line. Four, three, two, one. So a straight line from head to toe. And rest. 10 seconds rest into the bird dogs. Ball's gonna go on the back. And from there, it's not a mistake, is it? We're gonna extend the opposite arm, opposite leg, and back in, keeping the spine stable. We'll do a hold, actually. Reaching the limbs, like lengthening the limbs, keeping that spine stable, keeping the arm straight, pushing the foot and the knee into the floor. Okay, swap sides, keep the ball on the back. If you've never done these exercises before, obviously I'm rushing through them, I didn't really show you at the start. Feel free to just go through round one and then go back again and repeat, just so you know the exercises. Spine stays stable. Five, no sorry, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, lengthening the limbs, three, two, and one. Okay, that's one round down. Okay, going again in five, four, three, two, one. This time, plank position. What we wanna do is straighten the arms and extend ourselves out a little bit more. So really trying to keep that plank position, pelvic tilt. The more we walk our hands forward, the harder it's gonna make us, make it for our abs. Can't see the other watch now. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay, I probably felt a fair bit harder. Now back into our side plank. Three, two, one. Straight line from head to toe, pushing the hips up towards the sky. Feel that lateral chain. 10 more seconds. You'll also notice the breath here, guys. It goes from the kind of slow exhales and the slow inhales and the stretching and mobility, whereas here, it's quite short breaths in order to maintain that stability and maintain that stiffness. Okay, rest five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Gaze forwards to a nice straight line from head to toe, like we say. Five, four, three, two, and one into your 
bird dogs. Ball comes on the lower back. Three, two, one. Extend the limbs. Push it from the side this time. Whoa. So I'm not thinking about how high I can lift them. I'm thinking about how long I can make the limbs whilst keeping locked down through the torso. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Three, two, one. Swap sides. Length, 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 length. Pushing the foot and the hand into the floor. Elbows going to switch ball, make a nice clasp fist. And then from there, take a slightly wider stance, you're a bit more stable. We hold, if you want to make it harder, we can rock it backwards and forwards, or we can try and draw circles. And then at 10 seconds, you go in the opposite direction. Keeping that nice plank position, you should feel it through the abs. And relax. If you feel that one through the back, guys, you've lost your position. Okay, it should be felt through the abs. If you feel it through the back, Bring that pelvis or stop, rest straight away, take a breather, and then bring that pelvis under and try and really, really set through the abs. Side plank. Five, four, three, two, one. We swap sides. In seven, six. Shoulder above the other, not tipping over. Five, four, three, two, one. Final exercise. Bird dogs. Ball goes in the back. Again, I think it's better to show from this angle. Three, two, one. Lengthen. Three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. Okay, swap sides. Really trying to extend the limbs. So reaching them as far forwards as we can. Don't worry too much about how high they are. Really think about lengthening them. Again, so while keeping locked down through the torso. Pushing the hand into the floor, pushing the foot into the floor. So we're staying nice and stable. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, there we have it. That's your core stability work. So uh, just while we're on this exercise, if the ball keeps rolling off, it can be really good feedback for us to show us that we're not necessarily stabilizing through our spine. So if it keeps rolling off, we could be rotating, we could be laterally flexing, we could be uh, flexing, extending. Okay, so just, just be mindful that if it's falling off, then that's giving you some feedback that you're not stable. Uh, so it might be good to video yourself um, or get someone to look at you and show you where your, where your uh, compensations are occurring, where your spine is, 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 is moving, destabilizing, and then obviously you can work on correcting that. Okay. Um, yeah, so you should feel a bit more stable now. Uh, I think it's very important to add that aspect of stability into our training. Uh, ultimately, when you uh, do all the mobility stuff, it's, it's, it's great, but typically with most movement through our spine, when it comes to our spine, we want to be locked down, okay? We want to be stiffening, we want to be stabilizing, uh, and that will allow, again, them limbs to produce force uh, and athleticism, okay? So, uh, yeah. If you're uh, unfamiliar with the exercises or you've not actually done them uh, before with the intention of moving really well, uh, then feel free to not necessarily follow this format, but feel free to actually go away and um, do maybe five sets 
of, of with a 30 60 second rest in between okay and that way you can really focus on getting good mechanics with them finding variation that suits you um, and, and really progressing through there okay once you come through them you can put them into something like this i only really did it 20 on 10 off so it was efficient for the video um, but you know really guys you could do them like say 30 seconds on then 30 seconds off or you could do them really any way you like as long as you're practicing uh, moving with a sense of mastery and grace and really perfecting their movements um, as best you can okay so that was uh, that was day four uh, that was your, your spine mobility spine stability hopefully you enjoyed the video and took away some value from it again try and get out today and get in a walk and um, we've got a facebook group called five kilometer lockdown walk or something like that um what is it lockdown 5k km walk I can, no it's not a walk is it anyway it's some sort of group that's we're doing 5k every day or, or trying to set the intention of doing 5k every day uh, during lockdown so if you want to join that group uh, feel free to do that uh, just leave a comment down below and i can add you to it or, or search it 5km lockdown that might it might come up then <laughs> okay i can't exactly remember the name of the group but yeah um Mainly it's York based because that's where we're f where I'm from and the people in the group are from, but there is some other people in there as well. And if you want to come in and join that, that would be awesome, guys. I think this is great training, but also getting in something like that would be uh, excellent. Thanks very much for your attention and your time. Hope you enjoyed the video.